Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, I've um, got a little job on tonight and I'm just going to mess around with this camera a little bit here and there and the other. But at any rate, it's a, it's a lathe job and uh, we've had to um, we've had to lift up the emergency flap here, get it out of the way and, and put in the uh, screw in the in the end plug and put in a little plug. We've got a little bit of tube here that's going through 970 mil long. Um, and that uh, that tube is similar to this tube. Um, you can see how small the hole is in there. Um, this is a 3 8 inch um, high pressure left hand. There's a left hand thread this socket here. Uh, needs to screw on needs to screw on here um, so this is one piece of it it's, it's from a water jet machine that blows out tubes so we're, we're busy now um, going to make the thread on the other end of this this tube they had a longer tube uh, so what I'm going to do we've set everything up we've got it all ready this is 24 TPI um, and uh, we've already done most of the so we won't bore you with all this uh, machining um, I've already set it up uh, to to do the um, the cutting. So we're now on, on basically on the spring cut, is a, is a, or spring cut, or maybe another one or two, and then a bit of a clean up. We we'll check it, and if all good, then all we've got to do then is make the the final taper here. So without further ado ado, uh, we shall fire it up. We're already engaged. We're running my my normal system. Um, of uh, having the uh, half nut engaged at all times and I just uh, work the forward and reverse and the brake. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going into that spring cut depth. Spring cut depth. Um, we should be one or two of these spring cuts and where we're going. We're running in reverse of course with the cutter upside down. go and then pull it out back in again another one just for good measure for those of you who are interested we're running on 270 rpm But it's not very fast for my, uh, based on my machining uh, threading. There's a stainless steel, by the way. One line. <laughs> we'll throw it in one more time just for fun. Uh, because it's a fine thread, I don't mind doing quite a few spring cuts. Um, see if we can get in a bit closer there for you. Not sure that that's going to be good. We'll try that. Right, I believe that will be fine. Um, we'll just give it a a twiggle and a wiggle here and see. Ah. Oh! We only have one of these, so I can't afford to lose it in the swarf. Fraction tight, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the file over it. I'll disengage, move it out of the way. Okay, that might be good. Oppa. Sorry about that. I'll go back in there. 
Hopefully that'll screw in there alright. Hmm, a bit tight. A bit tight on that end piece there. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to turn the light on. Hopefully it won't do too much. It always makes us yellowish. We'll just see if we can come back in again on that same spot. Check that out. It's not in the same. It's not engaged in the same spot. Try that one. Well, it looks okay, but we'll give it a try back anyway. Um, just run it in fraction hmm all right we'll go back to the uh, drawing board because it, sometimes it's a little bit thicker here so we'll tickle that up anyway so just to show you that uh, not everything's perfect in my world uh, I will show you something else as well um, we'll just get this Noga up and out of the out of the where am I there we go yeah, so I run a cut earlier on, on this short piece. There we go. Not focusing too well, is it? That's about... Not everything's perfect in this camera world, I can give you the tip. I don't know why that's locking up like that. I'm back again. So. Oh, the battery's down. That's part of the problem. Okay, so... Anyway, so I cut a, a trial thread on this side and it didn't look right. It just it just did not look right. And then I thought to myself, what's going on here? And I um, I grabbed hold of the, the cutter and I had a look and I had, a, I had an Acme thread but he um, inserted in there, so I swapped that over and then made the second cut, which was the proper one. So the battery's almost flat. Got to say goodbye. We'll get this sorted out tonight and we'll be back in business. See ya.